Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me today. You can help me out by subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. There was a, a magnitude originally a 3.4 earthquake there between Preston and Eureka, Nevada. Um, I don't know if it's been revised or what, but then they changed the location, the time by a couple of seconds, I believe, um, to a magnitude 3.5, but it's actually a 3.7. This area on Nevada is capable of having a magnitude 7 earthquake or greater, and there's lots of fault lines that are undocumented throughout the entire uh, zone. So here we have a 3.5 at 1728 and 48 seconds. And then we got the 3.4, 1728 and 46 seconds. So we'll go back to this other one. Yeah, one second difference in time and zero kilometers in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Let me show you the spectrogram. There it is, and you can see it's a magnitude 3.74. We'll go to the earthquake signature. Yeah, this is tectonic and movement. And let's bring it over. And then it continues on the other line, so we'll have to go over here. I only see one earthquake, it's not two. Yeah, and it's all tectonic in movement. So more than likely, they revised this earthquake. In the past, this area has had very few earthquakes. And let me bring it out, because I've been busy ma mapping some of these. They got eight earthquakes for the entire month. There's one more down here at the bottom. Uh, that's a 1.2. Um, we got a 1.9, the 3.5, a 3.1. Now the time, 1728, see that's a completely separate one. 3.1, that was yesterday. A 1.4 on the 29th. Um, a 1.2 on the 28th. 1.3. 3 on the 28th, a 1.2, also on the 28th, and a 2.0. So on the 28th, there was uh, 4. Uh, today alone, we got a small one right here. I got two different monitors. Um, this is Carver's, Nevada, and this one here is Battle Mountain, Nevada. Let me bring it back another 4 hours. Okay, and there's, I'm going to go through some of these, and you can see them. Okay, we'll go back another four hours. Um, uh, yeah, um, slow moving, um, want to call it quiet earthquakes. Um, tremors is what they are. They're tremors. They're not actual earthquakes. It's slow moving earthquakes. And we'll go back another four hours. See, we got another one there. Um, these two monitors are really far apart. Got another two there. Another one there. Um, maybe a little one up there. I'll go back another four hours. Yeah, for an area that doesn't have a lot of earthquakes, there's been a lot in the last 24 hours. We'll go back another four hours. Okay. I don't think I pulled data this far apart or this far back. I only have data going back to uh, um, 1855, something like that. I wish I pulled it back a little bit farther because there was another one at 1940. That would be that one right there. And then the small one at 19, maybe 32. Going back to those slow moving tremors, you can see it picked up. There's a lot marked in red. Look at that. I mean, oh my goodness. Let me bring it over. Yeah, lots of popping of the rock. 
Look at that. Let me extract this. Yeah, this is tectonic in movement. Okay, we'll go a little farther ahead. Yeah, there was a lot of popping. A lot of uh, stress is being built up. Look at, oops, went off the line. Let me pull this. Yeah, sharp points, tectonic. Okay. Yeah, look at all this activity. This is uh, 1546. I'm looking for some other smaller ones if I can find it. Uh, 1258. Yeah, more tremors. That would be that one right there. All right, about 1019 harmonic magma on the move. And that's not surprising. I did a report about this area not too long ago about magma movement. And I'll show you something here. Let me pull it out. And we'll go over towards the west. We have uh, four different calderas. We got the uh, Northern Berg Land Caldera, um, Moore's Caldera, Manhattan Caldera, and Ten Peaks Caldera. That area's got uh, rhyolite and quartz. Uh, Mount Jefferson Caldera. It's actually divided into two right there. You know, there is no such thing as a uh, dead volcano. No such thing whatsoever. Here in the middle of this wasteland, I found this area. Uh, I thought it was really odd. Let me bring it out. Um, I really don't see a home out there. There is a road. Let me bring this out for you. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere, two little spots where they are got agriculture. I see no towns close to here. There is one farm. I wonder if that's got anything to do with it. If they're uh, raising cattle there, they got something. It's probably cattle. No, it's too small. Sheep. I bet you there's sheep. Okay, let me bring it out and I'll show you compared to how far that guy's got to drive it. Yeah, if he's raising this food for his sheep. Had to been a spring there to, uh, you know, put that out in the middle of nowhere. But anyways, let me, I'm, I'm going to look some more. Here on the monitor for Battle Mountain, we got an earthquake mark there at 1043 not being reported and then there's another one uh where is it at is it there no it must be right there at 1045 that one too not being reported and we got two more up over here uh 42 minutes after midnight uh, that would be universal time and then 42 minutes after midnight so we got 42 minutes and 10 seconds and 42 minutes and 35 seconds not being reported. I want to take a look at the spectrogram and yeah, it's two separate earthquakes. So that would be a magnitude 1.85 and the second one would be a magnitude 1.92. Oh, that's the second one on that one. All right, I goofed up. Yeah, um, 1.92 for this one. I'll go to the first one then. See how I'm jumping around here. This would be um, a 2.24. And let me go back up to this other one. I was working on that one, the second one there. Okay, that one would be a 1.88. I'll bring it down for you. 1.88 not being reported. All right, we got another one. Let me pull this up. Let's look at the signature. So they didn't fudge on this one. 
This is a magnitude 3.12. And I'll bring it down so those of you who have um, a laptop or watching on your TV, you can see it says MD 3.12. They did report that one. 1720. So we got 17, 19, and 57 seconds. That's it right there. That one was deep. 11.1 .1 miles in depth. They did not fudge about that one. But there's so many they didn't report. Now that one is yesterday. Now we know earthquakes are increasing around the world. But I am really baffled. Well, I can't really say I'm baffled. Why is that not working there? I don't know. Um, yeah, for this one location, why there's been so many earthquakes. And let's go to the seismic signature right there. Yeah, mostly tectonic. But then, you know, like I said, we've seen that one with volcanic. 30 days of eight earthquakes only, then all of a sudden today, within the last 24 hours, of course, they're not re reporting them all, but yeah, maybe they're not reporting because people like me would notice that and say, what the heck is going on? You know, I went through different, see, like we got a 2014, a 3.3, uh, 2019, a 2.5. 1958 a 4.5. Uh, this one was uplift. Um, 2013 a 3.8. 1996 a 3.5. Yeah, they just don't happen that often in this area. And all of a sudden it is going on. Uh, yeah, like I said, we definitely got some earth changes coming. Um, five because this one's divided into two ancient calderas yeah better get our hard hats out better prep up with supplies because yeah the world is changing earthquakes are definitely increasing yeah up over here is eureka and then let's see where's preston nevada where's that Oh, right over here. Okay, it's a really small town right there. Okay. Preston there, Eureka there. And someone raising sheep in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.